Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, Lava Direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In front of me today, look at this, man. I have a box of 1996, 1997 Pinnacle Via Player Series 1. A ton of fun under the sun, kind of like an Aaron Judge ninth inning home run. Uh, 60th home run at that. Uh, I will speak a bit about Subban in this video. Farewell to PK Subban. You know, I also want to thank you guys for your gracious, kind, generous words under my last video, the 2008-2009 uh, SP Authentic box. Uh, about my feline that passed and you related your own stories about your pets and I love the fact that you mentioned dogs and cats they are not mutually exclusive and we should not be judged by which ones we have it has to do with all kinds of reasons why we'd have one or the other uh, and I love both in fact I love all animals but it was so cool and I just love the tenor of the comments under my videos it's always just such a thoughtfulness. I, I feel really privileged because most of the stuff that I see on social media under other channels is very trolly and hateful and all the stuff that I don't relate to. So good on you guys. You made me feel uh, much better. So with regard to this stuff, it is my second box of this. I plan on breaking three boxes of series one of 96, 97. Configuration would be eight cards per pack, 16 packs per box, which would be 128 cards. Series one base set, one through 110, and the series two would be 111 through 220. In terms of uh, break, box break, and inserts, we should receive 16 of the autos because they're one per pack. Um, as much as uh, eight Link to History die cuts and 3.2 chase cards, which can be the Biscuit in the Basket, the Stack in the Pads, the Link to History autos and short prints, base silver parallels. And there are some rare uh, Lindros and Messier cards, which are somewhat on the back here. You see, the entire checklist is on the back, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so just a, a pretty cool checklist. Last time I hit just incredible autos. I don't think I can duplicate that, unfortunately. Uh, man, this is a pretty ratty box. It's pretty banged and beat up. Uh, there are some rookies like uh, Johnson and Todd Sipson and um, Dackel. Uh, Rolly the goalie was in series two would be a rookie card, but it's not really about the rookies, this stuff. It is about your uh, completing the auto set. So let's see guys, let's see what we, I mean, these are just, this is an old school box that was kicking around in somebody's messy closet, I take it. Uh, let's see if we can get them out. And I don't think anyone would have the gall to tamper with an old box of Pinnacle or not on purpose, I probably stepped on it in the closet or threw some shoes on it or something, but this thing's a mess. All right, I counted eight and eight. Uh, they're completely out of order. They're, I don't know what order they were in the box, but they're no longer in that order. So an auto per pack, guys, and you see in the background, I do have an Iggy Link to History uh, hard signed auto. Hopefully these don't stick too much. They might stick a bit. All right, let's do it, guys. Kevin Hatcher, Oli the Goalie, Dulles, Gano, which is a rookie card, I believe. Garen, I'm sorry, it's really hard to get these all separated. Weimer and, ooh, is that, a, did we not have an auto in this pack? Or is this the auto? Oh, this is the auto. So we have a Harry York and it's one of the silver uh, Link to History autos. All right, very nice. Right, so about P.K. Subban, um, I think what a lot of people don't understand is he's from an island family, you know, the kind of family that has the barbecue going every single night with all kinds of friends and family over. So he's a big boisterous, he's sort of not your staid Anglican, which might have been the history of our game, sort of uh, people from particular backgrounds as opposed to more broad backgrounds. In other words, perhaps from Western Eastern Europe, now it's from all over the globe. So he, to me, really ushered in some of the new NHL uh, as we know it now. So, you know, of course he was never uh, bigger than our game, but was he larger than life? Yes, he yes he was and is. Miranov, uh, Wilson, Mikael Anderson, Brad May, Tom Fitzgerald, an ex-Leaf as well. Uh, Eric Desjardins, was he? Yeah. Uh, Eric Desjardins, speaking of Hab, and we have a link to history here and we have an auto. So let's see, I, th I think I can already read it. Hopefully this is, is this an auto, it just, no, let's see. And this is the auto, so we have a Steve Finn, and I think this is just a base link to, um, uh, link to history, I'm guessing, and yeah, it is. And it's the Patty LaFontaine. Again, notice that you would get gold down the side for the autos, um, so that so if someone hard signs on a silver, it's not actually, it's, it's a cheat, it's not the real thing. Um, and some of you know that P.K. Subban, uh, on my mom's deathbed, gave my mom 
a sign note, sent him her a sign note and a sign a away jersey during the Boston series in 2014. Uh, which brought us to tears. It was a really emotional uh, note, and it was very supportive of my mom, who'd been alive for 20 Montreal Canadian Stanley Cup. I've been alive for eight, if you can imagine that. Tony Amante, Joe Neuendijk, uh, Kravchuk, Carpa, DM, uh, Alahi Afredi, Joe Murphy, wouldn't mind his auto. Uh, I, I, we can already see the, what the autos are. There's Donald Odette. And here is our next auto, and it would be a John Slaney auto. So we have a John Slaney auto, very nice. Uh, collecting the set, actually, I'm not sure what I'm missing from the set, but it's probably the rarer uh, autos. Well, it was his dream to be in the NHL, but he, he's a multitasking guy, man. And it's just, as I said, like, I don't think the Michigan goal would exist today if a guy like Subban hadn't paved the way for just more excitement, more drama, more craziness, and sort of going outside of the bounds of the norms that we're, we expected. Dackel, Niedermeyer, Tikkanen, Essen Tikkanen, be a great auto. Turcotte, uh, God, Godinyuk. We have a Ty Domi. And here we have an Iggy, but I think it's just a base link to history and the auto would be behind it. So let's see if we can hide the auto this time. This I think is just a base link to history indeed. And you can see the auto version in the background, which I have. And who is this is the question. How about if we just spin it around? And it would be Mike Wilson, Mike Wilson. All right, well, we don't have the luck that we had last time which with all the big names. Although it could be 16 autos, there could be some good ones in our second column. Uh, yeah, so and in terms of his, he had actually great advanced statistics. He had some injuries later that where he really sort of descended. And of course, he was always somewhat distracted because he's P.K. Subban. Um, but in 2014, when we eliminated Boston and, and we got eliminated by the Rangers because Kreider hit Price, uh, I don't think we would have been, we would have had a chance against Boston had Subban not been the best player on the ice, which he was. Uh, Langdon, Dahlin, uh, Salo, Sweeney. Uh, David Wilkie, Jason Woolley, and can you, oh cool, that's a good one, great. So our first sort of fairly big name one is Kevin Hatcher. That is nice, and his Penn's jersey, I really like it. So hit a Kevin Hatcher. Um, and PK was a guy who had some, like almost I think 500 points in some 800 plus games. That's a good career, once you have over 800 games, um, you know, and I'm sure he could have continued to play, but I think he had some nagging issues. Uh, continuing on, guys, some people said that they'd love to see him in a Toronto uniform. The thing about bringing him into the mix is it will change the mix drastically just because how outsized he is off the ice. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody knows about him raising money for the hospital. I get that. Shane Corson, Titov, uh, Donato, Yell. Oh, you can already see it's it's. Uh, Francois Leroux. Uh, I'm assuming that is just another base link to history. So here is the Francois Leroux. And I'm assuming this is an auto. It would, it's a Pat Lafontaine and it is in fact not auto base link to history. For my money, and people were always going on about how good Car Eric Carlson is, but his game fell off a cliff as well. And it's interesting how, you know, usually you are paid outsized money because of a playoff run and then you fall off a cliff because you get a little bit older. I still think we won the Weber trade, uh, which a lot of people still argue about. But uh, the year after he was traded um, with National Predators, he had, he had an outsized influence on the fact that the Preds went immediately to the finals, which is not something that's easy to do. Uh, and at that point, everybody thought we'd lost the trade, but the Weber trade actually worked out and we have been able to unload his salary. So it works out well for us. John Casey, uh, and let's see who else we have here. Oh, I'm assuming. Oh, there you go. We have Stefan Riche. Very nice. I'd love to hit his auto, but this is not that. And it would be a Jason Woolley auto. So a lot of filler autos, a big set, you know, it's usually something akin to 220 autos in these, um, a be a player sets, but there's nothing quite like hard sign autos. All right. Continuing on Peter Popovich, number 34. Uh, Pat Verbeek, Billy Ranford with his Boston uniform, Stoy Stoyanov, um, Peter Zezel, great name. 
We have a Todd Simpson, and I can already see we have a Gary Valk. <laughs> That's nice, a Gary Valk. Uh, I guess you um, uh, Toronto fans remember him. And our Iggy, I guess, is another just base link to history. Indeed. So many autos uh, in the set. So, and I did hit massive autos last time. So I think I was due for the uh, odds to average out, which they always do over the long run. They trend uh, towards the mean. Corey Schwab, uh, Renberg, Recky, uh, Lambert, Brian Leach, uh, Todd Gill. And here we have an Ethan Morrow, and the question is, who is our auto? Um, I, or is this the auto? No, this is just a link to history. Yeah, this is just a link to history. I already have like multiple uh, Ethan Morrow autos. So let's see who this one is. Uh, can we hit someone decent at this point? And it's a Robert Reichel. All right, that's decent. I'll take it. It's actually a beautiful auto. Uh, I really like that. I really, really like that. You know, it's a great auto is, is Theo Fleury has a beautiful auto. Yeah, what PK did off the ice, but the fact that he sent my mom a jersey and he said, you know, you had our back during our time of need with regard to this, the Habs, because my mom watched the Habs religiously her entire life, um, even before they had a TV. In fact, they got their first TV in the 50s because to, to watch Rocky Richard. Uh, but she, she'd said he, in the note, he said, you had our back through the, our lean years and so on. So we, I have your back, I'm with you in your time of need. It was really beautiful, I was reduced to tears. And my mom at that point had a mastectomy. She had lung cancer, which was probably primary breast, but she had a mastectomy. She could only watch the playoffs, the Habs beat Boston in the playoffs in, inverted through the dresser mirror. And we were in tears when we got his jersey. I still have the jersey with me, of course, uh, with the fight strap on and everything. Jamie Baker, there's Reichel, uh, Roberts. Oh, cool, did I hit the Corey Schwab auto? That'd be very good. Uh, continuing on, uh, Kevin Todd, and hopefully, oh, there's a Ren Murray. And I, I did hit a Corey Schwab uh, auto. That's awesome, very, very cool. There you go, there's the goalie mojo, and look at that. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, he's not taking a dump, I'm assuming he's stretching his uh, groin. Actually, 1997, 98, uh, be a player um, signature series is fairly easy to find still. I find the 96, 97 harder to, to find. Mark Bureau, there's the Sean Burke. I hit his auto last time on the guitar. Uh, Troy Mayette, there's the Kelly Rudy. That would be the ideal one for me. Uh, Bob Bassin, all these names. I wouldn't mind a Gilmore also, actually. Gilmore would be fantastic. All right, and let's see who this one is. Let us see, ooh, it's a silver one. And it is, oh my God, it's a Denny Lambert uh, silver. Um, that's that's really nice, very, very nice. Probably received one of those or two of those per box. Continuing on, still have some, a few packs here. So maybe a Scooby-Doo ending, which would be ideal. Uh, Valerie Kamensky, Jamnov, Chambers, Pat Jablonski, I love it, man. Oh, I can already see who it is, darn. Kelly Chase, uh, uh, Ken Baumgartner, and it would be Scott Lachance. Man, all these names from the past, he's actually a half decent player. All right, John Slaney, uh, Uwe Krupp, Barry Potomsky, Rob Settler, Corey Hirsch, wouldn't mind him either, actually. Uh, Jeremy Roenick. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, cool. We hit one of the stack in the pads and it's Cujo. Okay. And then behind it, we have an auto. Don't know who that auto is. Oh, darn. Can we get this out? Yeah, this is the stack. Oh, God, it's stuck a bit. Okay. And look at this. So we did hit the stack in the pads. This is one of the better inserts uh, from my perspective. And it is a Cujo. And I love it. I love it how they have that uh, prism technology or whatever they call it. All right, and who is our auto? I'm, I think we need a good one at this point because it's been pretty dry. And it would be Mike Gardner. Very nice, very nice. Now he's one of the big boys, I'll take it. Uh, Mike Gardner is very, very prominent in, um, in this year's products. In fact, I hit him in a group rate of Upper Deck Clear Cut. 
if you can imagine that. Now, this is a guy with over 700 goals in the NHL, so he's like a big, 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 big deal. It's over 1,400 games. He's the fourth overall, but back in 1979, were any of you alive back then? Uh, Brad May, Tom Fitzgerald, uh, again, he was on the Leafs for a bit. Eric Desjardins, this is so similar to our other pack. Uh, there's Sean Burke, we're running out of space for great autos. Mark Bureau, and who do we have? Ooh, we have a Beezer. I would love a Beezer auto. That would be just so good. Uh, all right, and unfortunately not an auto. He's very, very prominent too in our, this year's products. So who is that? Who is that? Oh, did we hit a Lindros, a Link to History auto? That would be wild. That would be wild. And yes, we did. That's excellent. So here's our big boy. We were bound, we were due. So we hit a Mike Gartner, then we hit Lindros. So that's very cool. That is really, really cool. Uh, I think this, uh, is it a short print? Is it considered a short print? Let me just see what it says on the back of this box for a second. Well, you know what guys? It isn't the one on the back of the box. The one on the back of the box is uh, a rare card that goes for like $700 and it's numbered to 88. It's just a different die cut. You know, do, he's not, is he listed in here? He's listed in here, but uh, that's, a, that's a big one. He's also uh, factors pretty big in our product uh, this year, including clear cut, the inner hit. All right, uh, Dave Andrichuk. So we have two packs left. Okay, let's see if we can hit someone else. Uh, Jeff Hackett, Mark Bergevin. All right, uh, we've played, what, eight, eight NHL teams or something? Okay, Scott Lachance, Philippe Boucher, uh, Doug Brown, and ooh, we have another insert, and it's Nolan Nolan. Oh, career goals, okay. Let's see if we can hide the auto, uh, auto high tower. Okay, all right, oh, is it, uh, okay. We'll see in a second, and there you go. So again, it's sort of this prism technology, really, really nice. Uh, yeah, so this is a biscuit in the basket uh, insert. All right, so who, it's yellow. Isn't it yellow? Does that mean it's a pen? All right, guys. Not sure whether that bodes super well or super mediocre. Oh, it's, it means it's, it's Boston. Can't be Thornton, because Thornton rookie year was 1997, 98. Uh, uh, oh, it's Landon Wilson. It's Landon Wilson. All right, last pack, guys. Let's see if we have some last pack mojo. Uh, this is not a hot box. I've had hot boxes, as you guys uh, are well aware. So let's see. Let's see if we get like Kelly Rudy or something like that. All right. Uh, I assume he's in series one. I'm, I'm forgetful. Okay. Uh, Byron Defoe, Jim McKenzie. Guy Hebert, Guy Hebert, uh, Yashin, Stephen Rice, Jason Allison, and I think that's our auto. All right, guys, last auto. Let's see if we can strike a uh, lightning here. Oh, wait, there's two cards here. One's a link to history. All right, how can we separate these out? Well, you know what, I'll just flip it and then I'll reveal the link to history, okay? So let's just see who our auto is, our auto high tower. And it is Joe Didzik. Okay, <laughs> that is lackluster. Uh, reminds me of uh, Didik, but not Didik. And then we have a Ren Murray link to history. So that's basically it, guys. I'd say slightly below average box this stuff, although our hit of the box was the Lindros die cut, albeit it wasn't the number to 88 rare die cut, which goes for like six, $700 American. Uh, we did hit our eight Link to History die cuts. Uh, we have a die cut silver and a base silver auto, as well as our stack in the pads insert, our biscuit in the basket insert, and yeah, man, uh, and 16 autos. So, you know, good stuff, man, really good stuff. Uh, not as good as my last box, unfortunately. Do me the honor, guys. Uh, please be sure to sub like hashtag Dryden. Do hashtag Dryden. Uh, yeah, man, ring the bell. I'm gonna be full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. Mm -hmm.